What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank all of you that have subscribed and are tuning in and uh, I appreciate you a whole lot. Uh, today I'm going to do a real quick and easy another canned meat, canned tuna. And I'm going to mix it up into pan, uh, patties. I know a lot of you are probably familiar with uh, salmon patties. I grew up on those and they were delicious. But uh, these are low carb um, keto tuna patties. And we're going to show you how to do it. So stick around and let's see how it's done. So this recipe is so simple. All it is is a few ingredients and uh, it, we'll throw them together here. First thing I have is a can of tuna, big can of tuna, uh, a cup of cheese. I got my favorite blend there with some spices. I got a quarter of a cup of almond, almond flour and my favorite seasoning, salt, pepper, and some other ingredients I'll put in the uh, description. And of course, one egg. So we're gonna throw this all in this bowl and we're gonna stir it up and fry it up. So let's just get busy with it. It's don't take long to do. It's uh, just a matter of doing it. But get everything through, through it right in there like that. And then just get your mixing going on here. You know, it's gotta be quick and easy for me because uh, you know, my time's limited and I like things quick and easy, so. But yeah, this makes up a, like a batter almost. I like to break those chunks of tuna up a little bit. And uh, sometimes you might have to add a little almond uh, flour to it to get it consistent or the consistency what you want it to be uh, like. But just experiment and make it yours. The way to tell if you got it pretty close is if you can make a patty out of it and hold it together. So let's try it right now. And they don't have to be real big, just just like this right here. Okay. Man, that's perfect. And I'll put them back on this here, and we'll fry them up in just a second. These are a little moist, but they'll that moisture will cook out of them. And uh, yeah, and it goes. This is very filling. It fills me up uh, more than just like tuna out of a can. Um, this has got a little more substance to it with the egg and cheese and things like that. So, and you can use the kind of seasoning that you like the best. And. Uh, personalize it but I imagine you can have this together in about probably 20 minutes or less if you are not trying to film it or anything like that seems like it takes me a few minutes longer whenever I'm filming to get things set up and whatnot but I don't mind it I enjoy it so all right those are patted out now let's get them in the pan All right, I've got the pan preheated. Now we're going to lay them in here and let them do their thing. The key here is not to get impatient and just let them cook for a few minutes. So that way when you flip them over, they won't fall apart. Let that crust get on the bottom. So we'll just uh, be patient. Let them do their thing. And then we'll flip them in just a little bit.
Here's the final product, good old tuna patties. You can use your favorite dipping sauce or just eat them just like they are. I like using some of that G. Hughes sauce. And uh, actually I like using the hamburger sauce to dip my tuna in, but you do what you need to do. Uh, ranch, good uh, low sugar ranch is good also. There it is, enjoy. Man, it don't get no easier than that. That's as easy as it comes. And like I said, I like dipping them in my favorite sauce. Use your favorite sauce. If you got some tartar sauce or something like that, that's even better. Uh, but yeah, y'all enjoy. And until next time, may the Lord bless you and eat well.